Hey there, this is Cindy again. We're just getting started with PowerPoint 2016 and before we actually start getting into these videos, I wanted to go over some of the new features that you're going to find in the PowerPoint 2016 version. Now some of these are available only in Office 365. If you're not familiar with what that is, Microsoft has an online version of Microsoft Office basically called Office 365. You do have to subscribe to it, but what you'll get is a scaled down version of all the Microsoft Office products. So as we go through here, I'll point out some that are new just to the 365 versus the 2016. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I want to go ahead and show you are the new Office themes. Now you might have noticed that in prior versions of Microsoft Office it was kind of hard to read everything up at the top because it was a very light color and sometimes you would even see your desktop icons through your title bar here because the color was so light. So let me show you what the new options are and how to change those. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to the File tab, you're going to go down to Account, and currently I'm using a theme called Colorful, but notice I can now use Dark Gray, White, or Colorful again. And I'm going to stick with Colorful, but that's where you go to change those Office themes. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back, and I want to just show you that the Office 365 actually has one more theme that's very vibrant as far as the colors are concerned because it has a, a dark black background like you'll see here. So that's pretty cool, but that's just in the 365. Okay, next thing over here are your ink annotations. This is something, again, that's only available if you have a touch screen. So what they've done is on touch screen enabled devices, you're going to see this draw tab on the ribbon now, and you're going to see it in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And you're going to be able to select different inking styles, start making ink annotations directly into your files. You can also, in PowerPoint, convert those ink drawings to shapes. And you would do that just by selecting them and selecting the Convert to Shape option. So it's pretty cool how that works as well. Now let me go over to the next one here, which is the fact that there are some new design themes and variants. Now let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I go up under the Design tab, these are the design themes. And if I click the down arrow here to scroll, you'll see there are quite a few that I can pick from. So a lot of different ones than they had in previous versions. Also now you have different variants. So whichever theme you happen to be working with, you can also now pick different variants, which allow you to change the colors, the fonts, background styles, special effects. You can kind of see the list here. So that's fairly new where they have a lot more of those that you're going to be able to pick from. Okay, the next one down that I want to mention is a feature called Tell Me, which is actually available in all of the Microsoft Office products. So here's how Tell Me works. No matter which tab you happen to be on, you're going to see right here it says, tell me what you want me to do. And I can type anything I want here. So let's say that I want to know how to print. So if I type print here, it's going to give me some options as far as print is concerned. And if I want to just print, I choose the option. Or if I want to look at the options, I click on options. But I can get to everything right from here instead of me trying to figure out which tab to click on and how to get to print. I can do it right from here. So that's pretty cool how that works. As far as charts are concerned, you have six new chart types. Now you can see them here, but I'm going to give you a bigger visual of this. If I go up to Insert, and I say that I want to put in a chart right here, here you're going to see all your different chart options. Now from Tree Map down to Waterfall, these are the new ones that you're going to see. So you're going to see that there's in histogram, there's a new one within there. That's why I say there's six. But those are the new ones you have available to pick from now. So that's kind of cool when you start playing with those. All right, let me close that out. Ink equations. So this is fairly new. You have the ability to actually turn your mouse into a pen and write some math equations here and when you do this it'll actually convert your math equations for you. 
Where you would find these is when you go to the Insert tab, you're going to see way over here it says Equation, and this is where you're going to be able to actually set up those equations. So like I said, if you write them in here, especially if you have like a touch screen, for example, then you're going to be able to use that stylus to write those math equations and it will convert them to text or math or whatever it needs to do here. So that's pretty cool as well. Okay, a couple more things here. You have screen recording, which is new. So you'll notice that under the Insert tab, here's your screen recording. So you'll see it right over here. And basically what it does is it's going to record the screen, any audio, anything like that related to your presentation. So a lot of times nowadays to record, like this video I'm recording right now, I'm using a different software to do that in, but I can do some basic things now in PowerPoint with that feature. Okay, there's also a new format options pane. Basically, if you have a graphic or a picture or some sort of object in your presentation, you're going to see on the right this new, what they call, options pane appear. So it's going to have several different options on it. You're going to be able to click from different formatting options and so forth here. So we'll be going through a lot of that as we go through as well. They've also redesigned the animation pane. So when you work with the animation, this is the animation pane over here on the right. They've actually added some new options to this, so as you're going through and you click on different animated effects, you'll see those options down here at the bottom and you can choose different things a little bit easier than you could previously. Okay, a couple more quick things here. I did want to show you the new PowerPoint Designer. This is only available in Office 365. Sorry guys, because this is a really cool little feature. What basically happens here is, let's say you've gone ahead and set up a design and you've kind of set up your presentation, then it will actually give you some design ideas over here. So it's pretty cool how you can see like this one, flip the picture and put it on the background. So a lot of neat things like that, but again, not available for us for the desktop version. And the last thing I want to mention is they have a new improved presenter view. So when you're actually running through your slideshow, that's now called the presenter view, and there's several different things you can do in this screen, so it looks totally different. You can see your speaker notes, you can see the upcoming slides, all of your slides down here at the bottom like this. So we'll actually be spending time on that as well as we go through here. So quite a few new things they've got in 2016, and I think you're really going to like it a lot. So why don't we go ahead and wrap up this video, and we're going to go ahead and go over to the next section. I will see you shortly. Hi, Molly here. Thanks for watching. If you need additional PowerPoint 2016 training, get our free three-hour course for beginners. Click the Get My Free Course button on the left. I'll see you next week with additional videos.